Now, uh, just you know, I gotta ask about Javante Davis, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdul Bahid. I, I would just call him Tank to, to, yeah, uh -huh. to, to be safe. Uh -huh. every, um, but what's uh, what's going on with Javante? A lot, a lot of people thought he'd be the launch fight for Amazon Prime. We we hear names like like Frank Martin, maybe Ryo Valenzuela. What could you tell me, Leonard? A tank's going. Tank will decide who he's fighting, and when he decides that he'll make an announcement. That's right. Tank's the boss, and. And he'll, he'll be fighting soon. He'll mm. be fighting soon. Is uh, Frank Martin a, a live dog in that fight? If, if he gets the fight. Frank Martin can't beat Tank Davis. None of them guys can beat Tank Davis. So I wouldn't use that word live dog. He's a good-ass fighter. Frank's a good-ass fighter. He can't beat Tank, though. I guess um, it was reported Devin Haney said he'll take the same deal Ryan took to fight Javante. What? what, what? To fight Tank. Yeah. He said what now? He'll take the same deal that Ryan took to fight Tank. With who? Uh, Devin will to, to fight Javon Tank. With the deal that that, that, Ryan that we received. gave Ryan? Yeah. Like I Stop it. First off, they're in two different weight classes. And I don't even want to go on and on about that. It's, it's like, just cut the bullshit. They're in two different weight classes. That's... Tank and... It's tank. such a good fight. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's not a good know, fight know, for, for people who... It, it's whatever you want to think it is, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if Tank had to, Tank could make thirty. Okay, Tank could make thirty if he had to. He's comfortable at thirty-five. Okay, nobody's gonna tell Tank what weight class he's going to, what he's doing. Fuck all that. That's never gonna happen. Tank's gonna fight where he's comfortable at and do what he wants to do. All this other, I don't even listen to the talk of, because Haney's a good, he's a good fighter. He's doing his thing. Let him do whatever. Let him do whatever he's doing. They were in the same weight class. At one point, they were in the same weight class. Some people will have you believe that. That. And I'm just be very short with this. Aram had a plan, and he put a plan together with a lightweight tournament. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. where he would control all the belts. Okay, he had a partnership with Haney. They they signed together, his promotion and them, and they worked together to do their events. But at the end of the day, Aram controlled the whole thing. Nobody's going to tell Bob Aram how to run his company, what fights are going to be made. He signed him for a reason. He was a major piece. Haney did his thing, won the titles. But they had a plan. And the plan all along was secure. Haney, Lomacheco, all these guys can both just fight in a lightweight tournament. And, and the winner would come out, you know, and it's all in-house. All the nonsense talk about we could have made this fight and that fight, it's all bullshit. All bullshit because every one of those guys would have been the, the, the B side or the C side or whatever you want to call to a Javante Davis, okay? And there's no way in, the, in holy hell that Aram, who is the CEO and founder of his company, is going to make a bad decision and put his guys in a situation where He's not 100% sure that they can win a fight, and it's for no money. And when I say for no money, no money for that side, okay? None of those guys had ever been on pay-per-view, had done what Tank is doing, so the business is going to dictate what deals look like, okay? So fuck all the, the, the talk about, oh, we could have made a deal. No, you couldn't have made no deal because there was never an opportunity to make no deal. And regardless if Bob Aram say some otherwise that, oh, if, he know what it is, and and again, because he's experienced and he's been in this business, or well, he knows that not one of those fighters were in the situation to be in an attraction. Okay, and at the end of the day, it comes down to business. At the end of the day, when people big fights are made, when they make sense, Tank can beat all those guys. Okay, but it, you can't come out and say, "Oh, I want to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight," when realistically, it's like. Okay, I understand that, that people say these things, but you're in one, y'all were in the same weight class, but you can't, even if you wanted to make a deal, you couldn't make a deal. Okay, because I'm telling you, from this side, you get paid what you weigh. Fuck all that, what everybody talking about, you get paid what you weigh. And what you weigh is discussed behind the scenes and not in public for the fans and say this and that. We do business period. 
That's what it just comes down to. He, he has done a couple pay-per-views since, Devin. I know, I know not at the, the number rate, you know, near 10. I'm, I'm not here to bash him. No, I, I, know, no, I, know. I don't, I don't uh, again, is that, I, mean, I know I know the business, though. Absolutely. I, I know the business, and, and, and you can't tell me, this, you can't tell me nothing about no pay-per-view business in, in this business. We've done like 17, 18 pay-per-view fights. Okay, I know I know the value and what's what. And So is it a case where if he were to return to 35 and his expectations I don't want to get in, I don't want to have no conversations of about hypothetical be, 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 yeah. because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they doing whatever they doing for the best of their team and their their guy. I, I don't know what they're doing. That's their business. They're not even in the same weight class. And and let's just start with that. And this nonsense about what well, Tank did this and th Tank can make 30 pounds if he needed to. If, if he needed to. Tank don't walk around you know these crazy weights. You When you look at him he's, he, he's, he's very fit. You look pictures ain't gonna lie. You know there was a point in time where he was a little undisciplined, and he'd be the first to admit that. And that was some years ago. That changed after the Santa Cruz yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like he, again, he made 30. He made 30 for that. You walk around, and he walks around at a low weight. But Tank could beat all of those guys. It's just, again, at the at the end of the day, it's all about timing. Things make sense. and and But but the bullshit about before, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. You, could, you can't make a deal when you're not in a situation to make a deal. You know, and, and the offer that would have came that way, quite naturally, I know these fighters think that they're bigger than what they actually are, and I'm not saying them specifically, I'm just saying fighters as a whole. But what it comes down to is the business. It's the business, and, and not many people really understand that. Right. Because you can't understand it if you ain't ever done it. Right. You can you can you can talk that talk, but if you ain't never done it, well, then you know, people, people just they throw numbers the they throw numbers out there like, like again, there's no conversation about anything, but like when you when would you just say something to me? What did you say when you, you, you said something about uh, he some, had, he had two pay per views since then or, or uh, yeah I, I don't know anything about that. I yeah. mean that's their business. Whatever they're doing, it's good. It's right. good for them. They're, I'm, it's good. Tank Davis is on an entire different level. He's on an entire different level.